Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another Blu-ray DVD update video for you guys today. It's been about two weeks or so since my last one. Got a nice size stack of stuff here to talk to you guys about today. Also, my mom's gonna pop in a little bit later on with her guest review, so stay tuned for that. But guys, before I get into it, give this video a thumbs up if you guys like my videos or support them in any way. And also down below in the comments, let me know what you guys think about some of the what I what you know some of the movies I'm gonna be talking about in this video here. But guys, let's get on to the the first one here very very excited to talk about this one here it's one of my favorite zombie movies ever and it's the collector's edition of BAP the return of the living dead here on two disc blu-ray the collector's edition here from Scream Factory I just love this new uh, commission artwork right here that Scream Factory provided for us but if you guys don't know return of the living dead it's like a parody film that was directed by Dan O'Banion back in the mid 80s that was you know, just, you know, poking fun, not poking fun, but like, you know, just showing love to the genre of, you know, zombie flicks. And it's about this guy named Freddy, uh, who just, who just got this new job working at this, you know, medical supply warehouse. And it's his first night on the job. And, uh, him and his new, him and his coworker accidentally open up this canister that has this toxic gas in it that, you know, leaks out into the, the nearby cemetery and awakes the living, awakes the dead people to make them the walking dead and have them, you know, running rampant all over the little, uh, you know, warehouse and cemetery that they're in. And it's just, you know, the hilarity ensues from there with them trying to figure out what they're going to do and, uh, and how, how they have, the, you know, uh, Freddy has his punk rock friends, you know, in the cemetery across the way, just waiting for Freddy to get off of work. But but it's in the meantime, the zombie, you know, the zombies are coming up out of the ground. It's just, it's just a really, really super fun film. I always remembered watching this one like crazy when I was younger. This one in part two, Return of Living Dead Part Two, were my two favorite ones in the franchise. Part three was okay, and then they made like you know other ones like you know we got Return of the Living Dead, Rave to the Grave, and like some other ones. I'm like, eh. Like after the third one, I was kind of done with the series to be completely honest. But like Shout Factory right here has brought you now a new two disc. Blu-ray edition, because this movie's come out before on Blu-ray uh, from MGM, but this one now has a 2K uh, scan of the film, so you get a 2K master of the film. You get three new, uh, or two new audio commentary tracks, uh, one uh, by historian of the Return of Living Dead, another one by the, you know, some of the cast and crew members of the movie, and of course you get the, some of the original uh, special features from the original, you know, DVDs and Blu-rays that came out. But the all, one of the really cool thing is about this release is that you get the More Brains documentary um, on the second disc here which was really separately like a couple years back you know it's like a a really really long in-depth documentary with the cast and crew talking about the movie you get that on this blu-ray here and i believe the picture quality is a lot better on this one i, I didn't really, really compare the two but i was just I'm, like I, I had this forever but like now if you have that dvd you don't need it because it's on this blu-ray right here you also get boop the original artwork right here, which I, I grew up with and known and loved forever. But I just want to let you guys all know, you can get the new uh, Return of Living Dead uh, Collector's Edition off the Screen Factory website or Amazon right now. And next up over here from Arrow Video US is a movie uh, directed by Jack Hill, who you guys know who directed like Coffee and, you know, Foxy Brown. You know, those those film, the, uh, black exploitation movies of the day. And this is this is one of his movies I've never seen before and until I got the Blu-ray. And it's called uh, The Swinging Cheerleaders. And I was just like, what, what is the swinging cheerleaders? Like, huh? You know what I mean? It, it's pretty much about this, uh, uh, young, uh, undergrad named Kate who's going to college and things. And, uh, she's going undercover as a cheerleader just to, like, you know, write, so she can write her thesis or write her paper on how cheerleaders are and, like, what, what they get into and, you know, what kind of stuff, what kind of shenanigans cheerleaders get into with football players and all this other stuff and, you know, what, what happens to her along the way. Um, this movie wasn't that great. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't really care for it. It's, it's Jack Hill's first attempt at, um, you know, going into like the, you know, the raunchy comedy game or like the, the uh, comedy. And you can kind of really feel that here. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I know you have to be open minded watching things like this. Don't get me wrong. I like the nudity that there were, that was in here. But like, it just was kind of just, I don't know. Maybe when I was watching it, I was just kind of, I don't know, in the wrong mood or something. But, um, in the set right here, you get the Blu ray version and the DVD version of the film. The Blu ray has a new 2K restoration of the film on here. You also get an audio commentary track by uh, Jack Hill himself and a handful of like interviews. You also get a Q&A with Jack Hill at um, the New Beverly Cinema where he talks about the film. I mean, it's not horrible. It was just, to me, not, not one of his better films, if you know what I'm trying to say. 
Uh, but next up over here from 20th Century Fox uh, is a film that came out a couple weeks ago on Blu-ray, but uh, I'm just I'm just talking about it now, and it's the awesome edition of Kung Fu Panda 3 uh, right over here. Um, I'm a fan of the Kung Fu Panda movies, man. I, I just I love martial art movies in general, and of course uh, in this one, Poe, uh, played uh, voiced by Jack, uh, is, is the panda voiced by Jack Black, uh, is just found out that he has a real father now. His real father, another panda, comes into town saying, hey, I've been looking for you for years, son, what you've been doing, you know, kind of thing, and showing uh, Poe that uh, there's a secret panda village, and uh, now Poe is, uh, you know, going to this village uh, to teach all the, the, the pandas in this small panda village, you know, kung fu to help them find their chi and different things, but yet there's this evil guy named Kai who's who's out to take take out, you know, Poe and the the, the Fabulous Five, or whatever you call it, like Monkey and, uh, you know, Cheetah and things, and take their chi away. And it's all about Poe trying to figure out how he's going to take out this new uh, enemy and stuff. Um, I, I liked it. I, I really do uh, enjoy these films. They're really, you know, just fun family, you know, fun family entertainment. And, of course, you get Jackie Chan in here voicing the monkey character. And then you get on here, you get uh, two new uh, Kung Fu Panda animated shorts on here and uh, you also get you know of course the little making of and everything like that but if you like Kung Fu Panda man definitely check it out if you have a family I, I really really enjoyed it very much and then uh, next up over here from Lionsgate also is a film I knew nothing about and it stars a guy that just passed away uh, Anton Yelchin and it's The Green Room also starring uh, Patrick Stewart from Star Trek and it, this and this movie is pretty much about this, uh, this struggling uh, garage band who, who you know who just booked some gigs and they're not really going anywhere and they really want to you know, get their music out, you know, to to more people, and they take this w one gig, and uh, they go to play this music at this uh, at this underground, uh, you know, music festival that's going on. But when they go there, they find out that it's a neo not that is run and you know being supported by neo Nazis, and all these Nazi people are 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 down in this place waiting for them to play music. And as they're about, and as they're done, as they finish their set, and they're about to leave the club, uh, one of them witnesses you know, something really bad that happens and uh, the whole group can't leave now because the people that are running this club are not going to let them leave because this crime that just got committed there and they're trying to figure out what's going on and, you know, how, the, the group's trying to figure out how the hell they're going to get out of the situation. It was actually really kind of tense and kind of cool, to be honest. You know what I mean? It's not as badass as, like, other people are saying, but, like, I, I liked it. You know what I mean? I like Anton Yelton's performance in here. Patrick Stewart plays a really, really creepy bad guy. Like, I, I've never seen him play in a movie movie before but if you guys you know if this sounds interesting to, interesting to you definitely check this one out right here you also get a behind the scenes look of the film some interviews with the cast and crew um on this blu-ray right now the picture of the quality looks absolutely amazing and next up over here is a tv show i've never seen before it's like until i got this dvd here and i know it had other you know uh, incarnations of the show but this one right here is naked and afraid xl season one here and uh this is a, of course a reality show about um six six men and six women who are going to Colombia who are survivorless and uh to survive to see if they can survive 40 days and 40 nights in Colombia with you know with no clothes, no food, and see what see what happens. And this is actually really kind of entertaining and uh this season right here uh features uh the cast members from previous se previous uh seasons of the show and seeing if they can do it now because I uh, from what I watched on here, previous seasons of the show, uh, they had to go out for 21 days, but in this season it's 40 days, and it's just like really wears on the people, and they have to of course like hunt for their own food, figure out how they're going to get water, uh, you know, for themselves, and how they're going to stay alive. And of course, there's like a you know small camera crew following them around and things. That that's what that's what makes me feel like some of the stuff is kind of fake and let you know like put on. You know what I mean? Like because if there's a camera crew, like the, well, like, the camera crew is going to get like you know be eating Subway sandwiches as the people over there going, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I have to kill this, you know, snake over here. I don't know. Like some of that kind of stuff to me is like, uh, really? Like, but I, I don't know. This it's still kind of fun uh, to watch, in, nonetheless. Over here, we get all ten, uh, ten episodes uh, in the set right here. I thought it was alright so far. I'm, I'm like halfway through it. All right, everyone. The next up over here from Lionsgate also is a film called The Perfect Match here on Blu-ray. This film stars Terrence J, Donald Faison, and Joe Padigliano from The Goonies, one of my favorite movies of all time. And in this film, Terrence J uh, plays his character of Charles. He's a businessman, but yet he's a guy that's always getting into one night stands with women all the time. And at the beginning of this film, it's his two, it's two of his friends come up to him and say, hey, let's, ma let's make a bet. 
let's see if you can hold down a relationship for two weeks before my wedding and uh, see see if he, see what happens, you know, kind of thing. And, he, and he, he takes him up on that bet and meets this girl named Eva just a couple moments later and, uh, g you know, gets into a relationship with her. And, and you have to watch the movie to see how, you know, everything turns out. Um, I thought this movie was just a kind of bland, uh, you know, romantic kind of comedy movie. I, I thought it could have been a lot better with the cast that they had in this film. It just felt like it was just kind of like one of those rushed kind of really generic kind of, you know, romantic comedy films, if you know what I mean. But on this Blu-ray here, you get uh, cast interviews, a little making of special feature read on here and a, co uh, com a commentary track. All right, everyone. And next up over here is something I'm really excited about getting here. I'm a big fan of Power Rangers. You guys all know that. I go to Power Morphicon all the time. I'm going to Power Morphicon in about like two months now or a month now and uh, this right here is Power Rangers Dino Charge Breakout uh, here on DVD. This is the new uh, series that's on television right now at from what I believe, unless they had made a new one already. But this is the new incarnation of the Power Rangers. And on this set right here, you get four four episodes of the series on this uh, DVD right here. It's an over 92 minutes of Power Rangers awesomeness. And I, I watched the three of the episodes so far. And I gotta say, they're absolutely a lot of fun. They're not as cool as memorable to me because I grew up watching the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers uh, back in the day with like Tommy, Kimberly, Billy, Zach, Trini, you know what I mean? Like Jason and all that. But like this one has some really, you know, nice character really cool characters and you're like one of the rangers uh, i believe the, was it the green ranger i believe or something i could be wrong he's kind of like a ditzy kind of guy like always going i'm hungry i want pizza give me a cookie like i thought that was kind of funny the the, the, the zordon of the of this series kind of looks like et you know mixed with uh you know master splinter it's just really kind of funny but i just want to let you guys all know that you can get four episodes of donna charge out on dvd hi it's me i'm back just real quick and this week, guess what? I'm back to my episodic television. The one thing I have to share with you today is the second season of I, Zombie, starring Rose McIver. I love this show. Uh, if, if you've forgotten from my last review, uh, the poor thing in season one attends a boat party, and which is overrun by zombies, and of course she turns into one, which of course totally changes her life and now she works in the I believe the King County morgue uh, as an assistant to the um, uh, medical examiner there and meanwhile he's trying to help her get back to normal and luckily morgue is a good place because as you know zombies need brains <laughs> so uh, it's funny how she you know throughout the episodes how she hooks up the different parts of the brain and stuff. <laughs> and plus, I guess they have to have uh, spicy things as well, so she's always pouring Tabasco or some kind of red hot sauce all over her food, which makes me <laughs> gag. But anyway, um, season two picked up pretty much where season one left off. You know, it's just same thing. She's solving crime with, a, you know, her police friend and everything like that. And her romance with Major is kind of hmm we don't know where that's going but um i've seen a couple episodes now season two looks just as good as season one uh, i love the concept and also on this particular dvd you uh get a special feature and it's the cast and crew or not cast, you know the whole crew but cast director so forth um at the 2015 comic-con they do a panel there so i'm uh, i haven't seen that yet but i'm sure that's going to be pretty interesting and i've never been to comic-con i've been outside comic-con when it's been on and <laughs> holy moly that's a bunch of craziness so i imagine that special feature will be pretty interesting Anyway, I really like I, I Zombie. Uh, if I were you, if you haven't seen season one, pick that up. Pick this one up too. It's just as good. And uh, next up over here from Wellgo USA is a film I had to get because I, I really like the first film that starred Donnie Yen and Samu Hung. And this is uh, Kill Zone 2 uh, on Blu ray starring. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Tony Ja. And uh, there's also another guy in there, Simon Yam. It stars Simon Yam also. But it has really nothing to do with the original film it's a, it's a it's it's it's, 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 its own you know story but it has like two of the same characters in this film two of the, I mean, two of the same actors in the film so it was just it was really kind of confusing it but when you watch it it's its own movie don't think it's like a direct sequel or anything like that but this movie is pretty much about these uh 
these guys that are going around uh, har harvesting organs from people and it, of course cops are trying to chase them down to figure out you know how to stop them from doing what they're doing and uh, in this film uh, Tony Jaw uh, plays this uh, police officer at this prison and he finds out that one of the prisoners that's in there is uh, is an undercover cop that you know that that's in there that's got taken in he's, he's undercover but at the same time he finds out that this undercover cop has the has the same blood type that his daughter has because his daughter uh, so I was called Je uh, Tony Jaws uh, daughter has leukemia and she's about to she's gonna die if unless she you know gets like a blood transfusion or whatever and this undercover cop that's in there uh, has the the right blood type but yet he's still undercover and he's trying to crack down on these organ people and all this kind of stuff and what you know all the craziness that un, you know unfolds from there um, I thought this movie was okay the action sequences were pretty decent which I wish there were really more of them in this film there was more talking and more dr more drama stuff than there was actual butt kicking uh, to be honest in here but I really like Tony Jaw uh, he's a really cool uh, actor slash you know martial artist and stuff I, I'm a big fan of his so that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to check this film out but it's not as good as the first one to be honest and uh, next up over here from Universal is a film called Search Party. Uh, this film is from the uh, from the creators of a Road Trip and Old School. Uh, I forgot the guy's name in here. The star the stars of the film. To be honest, T.J. Miller, Adam Pauly, Allison Brie are the stars of this film. And it's about these three friends that have been friends, you know, lifelong friends. And one of them at the beginning of this film is getting married. You know, getting married for the first time to his, to his love of his life. But yet one of his friends uh, during the wedding says, Hey, hey, I, I can't let this happen. I can't let this happen. You, you guys can't get married. All because the night before, uh, the groom was, you know, in the van with, with his two friends smoking weed and, like, giving out the pros and cons of being in a relationship with this girl. And, uh... <laughs> And then it then it just sets off this whole big thing with his uh with his fiance, you know, running off and going on the going on the honeymoon by herself in Mexico, and it's then it's about the groom, you know, himself going to, going down to Mexico to try to get his you know his girlfriend or wife back, and uh, getting left stranded naked in, in the middle of Mexico, not knowing where he's at, not knowing how to get to where he needs to get to, and then he calls his two best friends to come and save him, and all the shenanigans that you know ensue from there. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of really enjoyed this movie. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did because I didn't really know much about it. But, like, watching it, I was just really, really entertained by it. Like, really raunchy comedy, really, really, you know, really, really funny moments in here that I really, really enjoyed. It's kind of, like, in the same vein as The Hangover and all that kind of stuff. But, like, really, really funny moments. And I think I believe the guy, T.J. Miller, wasn't he, isn't he the guy that was in um, Deadpool? If, if I'm not mistaken, I, he's a really, really super familiar. I think it's the Deadpool guy. All right, everyone, and next up over here from Twilight Time is the limited edition of uh, Panic and Needle Park here on Blu-ray. This one's limited to 3,000 copies here. Uh, this is a film starring Al Pacino and Kitty Wynn. Uh, but in this film, uh, he plays this junky, uh, really fast-talking, hustling guy in the, on the streets of New York in the 1970s. Always, he's, he's always hooked on dope. He's always, you know, shooting up heroin and doing drugs and things until he comes, you know, and like pulling scams on people for money until he comes across this uh this young woman uh, on the streets of new york and she kind of has that same sort of habit a little bit but not as not as bad and they 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 they, they get to get they get together in this little weird relationship that they have she becomes an even worse junkie and it's just their shenanigans that they get into on the streets of new york being you know drug ag drug addicts and trying to get money so they can buy more drugs uh that's all i can really say about the film but it's just a really down and dirty you know, like movie that really shows you how bad it is to do drugs Drugs, you know what I mean? Like it kind of this movie kind of it's kind of like the 70s version of uh, Requiem for a Dream. You know what I mean? Like it really has those really sad moments that you really like really look at these people and really like, want them to get better. You know what I mean? Like it really has some really great performances in here by Al Pacino and Kitty Wynn and uh, and the other cast that are in here. I've never seen this film before, but it was one of my dad's favorite films of all time. Like this one and The Hustler and The Color of Money were like his like some of his top films and the Cool Hand Luke and things. And I've, I've never I didn't I never seen this film before until now here on Blu-ray, and I'm really really blown away by it. And I'm really now I know why my dad liked it so much. Uh, but on this Blu-ray here, you get an isolated score track. You also get a theatrical trailer. Panic in the Streets of uh, New York, like a little featurette uh, of the film in here. If you're a fan of the film, just want to let you know that Twilight Time has a beautiful release Blu-ray here. And uh, next up over here is Richard Linklater's new film, and it's called Everybody Wants Some. This is pretty much the 80s version 
of Days of the Confused. Like, you've seen the Days of the Confused, which took place in the 70s. This film right here takes place in the 80s, and it's pretty much that same vibe that Days of the Confused had. But, like, it's not as cool as Days of the Confused, but it's pretty much about this guy named Jake, uh, who's, like, a baseball player who's going to college, for the, going to college, and he's moving into this dorm with all these other, you know, baseball players that are on his team and things. And, you know, just what happens when he ex experiences college for the first time. Then it's just, you know, what Jake and the, the baseball team get into uh, like three days before school starts and stuff. Um, I found this movie to be really super entertaining. I really did like the vibe of this and some of the wacky characters uh, that they have on the baseball team. It's just a really, really fun movie. And like I said, if you like Days of Confused, you'll definitely like this one. But just know... Days of Confused is a lot better, at least to me, because it's more nostalgic to me because I grew up watching Days of Confused, but Richard Linkletter is one of my like all-time favorite directors out there right now, probably my top five favorite directors and stuff, next to like Kevin Smith and, uh, you know, John Hughes and stuff like that. He's definitely uh, in my top, you know, top three, Camera Pro is one of my favorites also, but if this sounds interesting to you and you like those Days of Confused, definitely give this one a watch. I really, really highly recommend it. All right, everyone, and next up over here from Anchor Bay is a film starring Ian McKellen and Sir Anthony Hopkins, and that's called The Dresser here on DVD. Uh, this movie takes place in a small New England town during World War II where bombs are dropping and, you know, Hitler is, you know, doing doing his thing. And uh, this movie circles around this this playhouse where a group of actors and people are about to put on this play of uh, this uh, the show called King Lear. But the group of actors and people uh, getting ready can't find a lead actor played by Anthony Hopkins and it's them trying to figure out where he's at and what's going on and are they gonna put on this, are they gonna put on this performance because they have a full house right now in the in the, in the, in the theater and uh, they soon find uh, where Anthony Hopkins is of, of the, his character's name Sir and uh, he's kind of out of his mind he just got let out of like a, the hospital he's kind of just out you know kind of out of it and things he's an old man and uh, he's been playing this he's, he's been an actor on stage for years and he's he's been made famous for playing King Lear on the stage of, of, in England and this is going to be his last performance but yet he's just really kind of out of it and things and you know, like I said bombs are dropping war wars happening outside of this theater really really well done uh, made for TV movie I, I enjoyed this one for what it was but I'm not gonna lie like it took me a little while to get into their accents you know what I mean because like, they were really heavy thick English accents and I couldn't understand some of the stuff that they were saying so like the first half of the movie I had like this you know the subtitles turned on so I can you know see what they were actually saying and last but not least right here from Synapse Films is a documentary I was dying to see and it's called Just Desserts the Making of Creep Show and uh, this is a documentary film actually made by Michael Felsher from Red Shirt Pictures. Uh, he's a guy that's always doing like the special features for like Scream Factory releases and other you know companies you know horror films and things like that. Uh, Dead Pit used to call him uh, Slipcase, Michael Slipcase Felcher and this is his documentary film on Creep Show. Uh, of course directed by George Romero who is his one of his favorite directors of all time and uh of course you get interviews in here by george romero and different cast members of creep show talking about their experience you know making the movie and it's like you know just different things that you if you want to know about them if you want to know about creep show you you get it in this documentary here with really in-depth interviews nice behind the scenes footage of stuff that you probably have never seen before in any other editions you know of the of the film you know in this blu-ray right here i believe this documentary might have been on like a uk edition blu-ray of creep show but like, it's just a really, really super well done documentary and I gotta give a thumbs up to Michael Felsher because I believe he he was raising money on Kickstarter to get this uh, documentary made a couple of years back and I'm really happy that he was able to, to do so right here. You got a bunch of, uh, com you know, making ofs and like special features on here. A commentary track by Michael Felsher and a bunch of other great uh, special features on here. Definitely check this one out if you're a fan of the Creepshow uh, film. I, I always really love that film. You know what I mean? But that's just desserts to making a Creepshow here on Blu-ray. But guys, that's all I have to talk to you guys about today for this Blu-ray DVD update video. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you all next time.